This is Heather Maxwell, Music Time in Africa in Tema, Ghana, with Mugis. R to Bs means refuse to be broke. Payday is the other half of our two Bs. So how did you come up with that title way back? Because you two have been together since your kids, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, Pei Pe is my cousin, you know. We grew up from the same home, same compound. We've actually sat in the same classrooms. You know, <laughs> Payday is more of the, you feel me? Hustler. Yeah, he's like streets, even before music. So, I remember we were watching some documentary from the States. It was called Hood to Hood. So it was a compilation of various hoods in America. And there's this dude who comes out of the project and he goes like, yeah, you know, yeah, making money out there, yeah, refuse to be broke. And Pay was like, right there. That's the name of our clique. We divide, we divide, we divide, we divide, we divide, we divide. We divide. You wanted us to meet right here in this particular spot in Tema. Why? This is my neighborhood of birth. You feel me? Like, let's say 45 steps away from here is where I was born. So this is my hood, Tema Site 15, Ghana, West Africa. This is the home of our 2 bs Payday, Mugi, Skill Beat, and everybody affiliated to the clan. I get the impression that you and um, Payday like to try to stay humble and close to your roots. Is that true? I mean, we've always been grounded with our roots because we've always believed Africa has this strong, you know, opinion about how the world should see us than what the world think of us. So it's always been Africa, Africa, roots, Africa, Ghana, to the world, high life, Afro, you know, these are the guys from Ghana. So tell me about your new album. Um, our new album is called Site 15. And what is Site 15? Site 15 is here, you know, the whole story is still Afrobeat. You know, it's still the club bangers, the everyday feel good, the odor odor you guys hear every day. What's what's next for you, McGee's? Yeah, we're working on our tour dates. We're thinking of doing Africa, hopefully Europe in the States. Any last words you'd like to say? It's been a long way, but I think finally we can be we can say we're proud to be black Africans. <laughs>